Well, welcome back to another video. So, just got a shorter video here today. Uh, just out for a little day trip here. We'll spend the afternoon in the woods and uh, hiking into a pond here now to do a bit of trout fishing. So, got a lunch packed. Uh, I'm gonna get a fire going here later on this evening. It's uh, early afternoon here now, around two o'clock. So we'll do a bit of fishing first, and we'll find somewhere to uh, have a little fire and a boil up. And uh, if we're lucky enough to get a few trout, then we'll cook a few on the fire. Or if not, uh, I got a backup plan for supper. So anyways, we're, uh, like I said, just out for the afternoon here. Be back home again by dark, if not earlier. So yeah, hope you uh, stay tuned to the video. So don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see uh, more of these videos. Uh, hit the like button and leave me a comment and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, we're uh, about halfway into the pond here now, so we'll check back in again here once we get in there. Nice little spot here. Just a little gully out there. I can see all kinds of little small trout out there jumping now, actually. Uh, I've fished out there before, and uh, usually the trout are real small, like three or four inches long. And it uh, looks like that's what's out there now. I can see them are jumping right out of the water, feeding on flies, I guess. So, the only thing I'm going to bother to stop here today, I'm going to keep hiking into the pond and... Uh, Hopefully, once we get in there, we'll see some bigger trout on the move. Well, made it into the pond here. And, uh, oh man, the black flies are out in droves millions of them so i'm hoping this little breeze kicks off a bit here now and uh, keeps them away somewhat anyways but yeah other than the flies eating me alive here uh, it's a beautiful day to be out beauty day on the pond be a nice day out in the canoe and uh, this is actually the same uh, same area i came on uh, a trip there an overnight canoe trip with the dogs that I put up there a few weeks ago back in April so if you haven't seen that video feel free to check that one out but yeah we spent the spent the night on uh, not on this pond but we paddled up this pond and went two ponds in from this one and camped out for the evening so had a great little evening there in the woods with the dogs but uh, yeah fishing wasn't open that was back in April like I said so trout fishing season wasn't open then so we couldn't try for a trout here, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try for one now. So if the flies don't carry us away first, hopefully uh, we'll get a trout or two here. Well, just getting the rod ready now. I'm gonna try one of these spinners right here. Not sure if you can see that or not, but not sure if there's a name on this spinner or not. Uh, feel free to leave a comment there if you know the name of it, but uh, one of my favorite uh, spinners. I use this one quite a bit. So yeah, I'll try this one first and uh, see if I have any luck.
Well, first trout, he's uh, he's a small one. I'm gonna get him back in the water now. Came for the worm pretty hard though. But yeah, we'll get him back in the water. Hey, don't touch Molly. No, leave it. He's gone. Well, let's see if there's any bigger ones out there now. Flies are wicked. Worst I've seen them this year so far, by far. Well, just fishing around the shore a little bit here. Trout are scarce. Just got that one small one. Uh, there's a few, a few following my hook in, but they're real small, like three, four, five inches. So all they're doing is stealing the worm, basically. Flies are absolutely horrible. I don't know if you can hear them buzzing around the camera or not, but... Oh, they got me just about chewed to pieces here. Well, got another small one here. About the same size as the first one. Oh, he's gone. Oh, well, got a decent one here. Well, just got one here. He's uh, he's no monster by any means, but uh, he's big enough to keep. Probably uh, eight inches long or so. So uh, I'm gonna keep that guy. And uh, we'll keep fishing here. Hopefully we can pick up, uh, even if we had a couple more like this, we'd have enough for a, a decent little meal there for supper. So, uh, so yeah, we'll uh, get a new worm on there now and uh, try our luck again. Another small one. This guy's gonna have to go back. Well, the trout are scarce here today. Getting an odd bite every once in a while, but they don't seem to be uh, overly interested in the bait. And, uh,. Most of what I've seen here are uh, just small ones, four or five inches long. So, we'll have a few more casts here, and uh, if we don't come up with anything, we'll uh, get ready and hike back out the trail, I think. Well, fishing is pretty slow here. Still just got that one little trout, so uh, just taking a little break now. It's uh, just after four o'clock, so the flies are still brutal. Little black flies got me just about tortured here. So, anyways, uh, I'll probably fish for another uh, half hour or so, and uh, I'm trying to. Get another trout or two to go with that one I got there to make up a meal, but uh, it's not looking like it's going to happen right now. Just uh, had a few little small trout there chasing the hook in, but uh, nothing worth talking about really. So anyways, yeah, I'll spend a little more time fishing and then we're going to pack everything up and uh, hike back out the trail and find a nice spot to... Uh, Get a fire going and uh, cook up some food for supper. So 
call it a day on the fishing here, I think. Uh, if the fishing was a bit better, I'd probably stick it out for another little while and uh, try and get a meal for supper at least, but uh, there's uh, trout are pretty scarce. So uh, we're going to call it a day with the fishing now. So, all packed up here now. Uh, I'm going to start hiking back out the trail and uh, I might stop and uh, have a try at that little gully that I was talking about on the way in. Like I said, I've fished there before but uh, I've only ever caught little small trout there but don't hurt to have a try there. we got to pass by it anyways. So, stop there for a few flicks and uh, after that then we'll look for a place to have a little fire and uh, get some supper on the go. Well, looks like a nice little spot here to uh, have a little fire. Uh, so this is salt water now. A little cove here in the bay. Got a little bit of a breeze going here, so should uh, keep the flies down a little bit, I hope. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a little fire pit right here on the beach, and uh, looks like some dead wood dry stuff right over here, so I'll grab some of that, and uh, shouldn't take too long here to get a fire going. We'll get our steak on, and uh, fry that trout up, and uh, yeah, should be a good meal. hungry to go messing around with the fire steel here today so using good old Bic lighter I always got one in my pocket So for the trout, I uh, brought a little bit of flour here. So I'm just going to throw him down in the bag of flour and give him a quick shake. And he'll be going in the frying pan here in a minute. I put a little bit of that spice on it too now in a minute.
Well, steak's pretty well done there now, so I'm just gonna throw the veggies and the trout back on to warm it up, and then we'll be ready to eat. Well, it's all done here, so I'm gonna sit down now and uh, crack open a cold beer and enjoy this food. Well, cheers. Well guys, supper's all finished up here. I'm just sitting back now, gonna enjoy the rest of my beer. Uh, I set up in kind of a, a sunny spot here. No shade at all, I didn't really realize it until after I had the fire going, but yes, yeah, uh, not the best spot for filming probably, but uh, that's it, lesson learned there, I guess. So anyways, uh, like I said, supper was uh, really good. Would have loved to have a couple of more trout to go with that one, but uh, uh, glad to have that one anyways. So anyways, uh, probably going to sign off here now. Don't have uh, a real far hike to get back to the, the truck there now. We're probably about three quarters of the way back out the trail. So anyways, uh, if you're enjoying the videos, uh, love for you to uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, feel free to leave me a comment. I love reading through the comments there. So, yeah, anyways, until next time, hope everyone's staying safe, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Okay, let's go.